terra gray metallic paint okapi brown interior and the ten thousand dollar prestige package this is the ultra rare audi a4 all-road quattro and we're going to talk about it here at audi lakeland in florida What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now we're here at Audi Lakeland in Florida with a very rare specimen behind me here today. Now a wagon here in the United States is already pretty rare. This is a Q4 all-road Quattro. So we have it here today in a beautiful spec. Guys, this is a proper spec. It is not sporty, it is more classy, and I really like the feel that this has kind of an under the radar sleeper feel to this spec. And this car is for sale, so I wanna do a walk around, show you guys the options, and then break down the pricing and the sticker and see if this Q4 All-Road is here for you. And per usual, big shout out to Audi Lakeland here in Florida for giving me the opportunity to check out this All-Road Q4. Now, if you guys wanna get this car in your collection, in your driveway, Check the link in the description for their website. Give them a call as well. So let's talk about the dimensions of this all-road. We have for the A4 here, 110.9 inches in a wheelbase, the length being 187.5 inches, the width without the mirrors, 72.7 inches, and a height of 58.8 inches. Now your front and rear track are gonna be 62.1 inches and 61.7 inches with a minimum ground clearance of 6.5 inches and this five passenger wagon will give you front leg room of 41.3 inches and rear leg room of 35.7 inches now even though she's got some weight on her at 3880 pounds this wagon is not dragging let's talk about it because at the helm of this power plant is 261 horses and 276 pound feet of torque now, how do we get there? Well, we do have a seven speed transmission to go along with this. And this is an intercooled turbo I-4 two liter engine. So with all wheel drive and a seven speed dual clutch, you have a factory claim of 130 miles per hour. Now, without the limited governor on here, you can probably go around 152, it is said. And at zero to 60 time, about 5.5 seconds. So she does perform and drags a lot of this rear end with it and I think that this is the perfect sleeper when it comes to Audis. Let's hear how she sounds. So here we are. This is a pre-owned 2021 Audi A4 all-road Quattro. So this looks beautiful and this spec is again really an under radar you know kind of sleeper spec that i really really enjoy and a lot of what you see here well this comes standard on the all road you guys can see that the terra gray metallic paint is going to be an option but other than that i mean we have the led headlamps that you guys can see up here and we have the audi beam rings stuff like that are a few options there but other than that everything you see here is already standard a lot of what you're going to get is the premium um, interior with the prestige package and that's gonna just spruce up the interior big time but let's talk about this because right up front you guys can see that again we have those LED full matrix headlamps with the washers as well you guys can't tell there but they look beautiful and we will see those illuminated shortly now you also have the classic Audi grille done in chrome all the way around with the surround you guys will see that we have the license plate bracket for up front just in case you live in a place that needs a front license plate we don't here in Florida you guys will also see the Audi beam rings there as well and you can see the vertical slats going through again giving it that aggressive feel now at the bottom you will have the aluminum flavor when it comes down to the front lip and on the side blades as well and then you guys will also see the camera system and everything there on the side for the radars same on this side here as well put it all together and it gives it a classic audi look and from this point in view you can't even tell it's a wagon you can tell there's something special and then obviously you can see the roof rails sticking out there they look really cool it gives it that kind of outdoor you know i guess we want to say adventurous feel now the side profile that's where the wagon definitely gets its very kind of you know elusive silhouette because again you, from the front you can't really tell that it's the wagon then you get to the side profile you're like okay here we are we're looking at the side claddings for the side skirts and also the wheel wells done in that plastic because you know if you're going to take this 
off road or any kind of off the beaten path, you want to be able to protect the paint. So you don't want to put all the good paint on the bottom profile of the car, which is why the wheel wells and some of that side skirt is done in the plastic feel. 18 inch wheels, again, you don't want big wheels on this thing, but you do appreciate the five double arm V design wheels that we have here today and the bright aluminum finish as well with the Audi rings there and the brake calipers to show off there as well. The aluminum side skirts with the plastic mix looks really good and you do have the quattro you guys can't tell the quattro engraving there as well letting you know that we have an all-wheel drive here for us and then obviously the gray paint going all throughout and on the mirror caps there as well with the chrome on the window moldings and the gloss black b pillar with the gloss black c pillar as well again just putting some style into it then we have the roof rails with the crossbar now the roof rails done and the aluminum finish for symmetry for the rest of the car but then the audi crossbars and i love the way that these look with the glass panel roof and a shark fin antenna here as well definitely giving me that off-road adventurous feel when you get the crossbars there and it adds a little bit of sporty flair so this is very kind of you know under the radar again classy spec of the a4 all-road now the rear this is what it's all about here i mean the sloping roof line looks so good and then you have the side blades done in gloss black with the third brake light hidden underneath the spoiler there. You guys can see it there. Audi rings, of course. Then we have the chrome badging underneath, or shall I say strike through going underneath to go integrated into the LED tail lamps as well with the A4 badge. And then obviously we got the all rolled quattro uh, tagging there as well. And then underneath we got the rear diffuser done in aluminum with the aluminum trim going all the way through the strike through going all the way through and dual exhaust tips as you guys can see those look really cool in the horizontal flavor instead of pipes that you normally see these are actually very very long horizontal exhaust tips take a step back and check it all out together that it really integrates into the rear bumper and diffuser so you can't even really tell that they're like protruding or that they stand out they just integrate so like I want to say they're just flowy and it just it looks really nice and again it's a classy spec it's not too showy not too sporty not too in your face it just looks really good now when it's time to go on our adventures where we're looking at 53.1 cubic feet of space so you guys can see that this thing opens up wide so that 53.1 cubic feet of space is going to come in once you fold down all three seats in the rear and we have a 40 20 40 split when it comes to the rear seating so you guys will see how they are divided you also will see this is where we pull our handles to let the seats down on each side and also we have a little extra stowage like cargo nets on each side we also have straps on each side as well to hold any documents in. and we do have a false floor here which we'll press here lift up and we have a spare tire there as well so we have plenty going on in the rear seat of this a4 all road now when it comes to fuel economy, the size of your tank is around 15.3 gallons. And when it comes to your city and highway, you're looking at 26 miles per gallon for the city and highway combined with 24 city, 30 highway and premium 91 and super 95 fuel is recommended for the running of this beast. So as you guys can see, we got to check out the illumination of this Q4 all-road. So make sure that we're going to see you at night. We have these matrix LED headlamps. You can see that the running light and the sequential turn signal are integrated from bright white to amber. And then you will see that LED headlamp there as well shining through. It looks so good because Audi does it the best when it comes to these lighting units. Now, we do also have in the mirror cap the amber turn signal there as well. And then once we come to the rear, we will have our LED tails illuminated with the sequential setup as well, as you guys can see. Again, an Audi flavor and fashion. They look so good. One of the best lighting units in the game. So before we hop in, let's check out the key fob. As you guys can see, we have unlock and lock, and we have our trunk release with our panic button, the Audi rings down here in aluminum, and then on the backside, gloss black with the aluminum trim. And we also have a physical button to pull out a physical key, just in case the key fob battery dies. So now let's go inside because this spec done in Okapi Brown with granite gray stitching and this prestige package just ties everything in so well together check that out so a copy leather seats and a granite gray for the stitching you guys will see it all throughout perforated leather stitching 
going all up and down this thing with the panoramic roof letting in a lot of natural Florida lighting. The oak wood trim all throughout. You see it on the doors, the aluminum trim there as well, the gloss black. I mean, check out the materials. The aluminum on the door switches and for the mirror controls, the memory seat buttons and also the unlock and lock buttons, the trunk release button and a banging awesome sound system gives us that package as well with the all road side sill right here, right before you get in. A4 mats, we'll get into that for the sticker breakdown. And obviously you can see the brake pedal and gas pedal have that honeycomb kind of flavor like that waffle cone and that kind of look when it comes to grippy on that stitch. So with that said, hopping in, not the most graceful thing because you know I just jumped in here, but this is great. I have plenty of room as you guys can see. I'm like stretched out here actually. This is kind of nice. Like I, it's almost like I'm laying down in a sense. Like I'm sitting like an F1 kind of racer just laid out. It's really, it's really nice. So let's talk about this interior because again, the oak wood, the copy brown, it all kind of translates very well together when it comes to this spec. And with this being a used model, you can see there's not a lot of wear and tear here where the seats, you know, would probably be the part you would look for the most to have wear and tear. Same for the center, con center console here. The gloss black looks good. The oak wood looks good. Where the cup holder areas where again, a lot of high traffic area. I mean, that looks good. The steering wheel is another one. And this looks pretty flawless. So it seems like somebody took care of this with the leather wrapped steering wheel, the Audi rings and aluminum going down the middle. Same on the seating. Again, guys, you can see that this is a high traffic area where you would be sitting and this is doing pretty good. You probably want to know what the mileage is on this thing. So in order to see how well it held up for the time it had, let's put our foot on a brake and let's step on the start button. Bring everything to life so you guys can see it. And then you can see the mileage there at 21,088. So we have 50 miles of fuel, which is why we're getting the fuel light there. But other than that, guys, did pretty good, right? I mean, that's not bad for 21,000 miles. A good solid two years of use here. And obviously with it being early 2024, a 2021 model, it makes sense, perfect sense. So aside this being an A4 all-road, well, we also have the Prestige package, which is just under $10,000. But it gives us things like our alarm system, our Bang & Olsen sound system, the driver assistance systems, obviously the MMI Navigation Plus. We also have the heated rear seats. We also have the heated front seat, steering wheel as well, ventilated seats in front as well. I mean, tons of things that you have here, the Audi Virtual Cockpit, Parking System Plus with Park Assist, Top View Camera, the memory driver's seat. There's a lot going on here for that package, but you guys will see a lot of things that you guys are used to for the A4. Lighting controls here. Obviously, you have your stock here for your driver assistance and lightings there. You also have on this side, well, if I can get back there, <laughs> you have your windshield washer controls there. You also have paddle shifters that are steering wheel mounted. You have your driver assistance controls here, not driver assistance, hands-free controls here. And you also have your heated steering wheel control here with your menu controls for up here for that speedo we're gonna talk about in just a moment. And again, we got the leather red Audi rings. This is also a telescopic steering wheel. So I can move this up and down however I please and then just Push that there, their driver assistance stock is right there, as you guys can see. And then coming along the center console here, you'll see our infotainment screen here that you guys know and love from Audi. Dual zone climate controls here as well with the LCD screen. You also have physical buttons, which is nice, right? And then down below, we have all of our central controls that we would use while driving, like our driver select mode. We also have our start stop, our traction off, Park assist, parking sensors, hill descent control, and we can also turn off the screen there. We also have a USB 2.0 here as well. We have our cup holders, start stop button to start up the vehicle, extra storage space here, our gear selector, as you guys will see here. Actually, I'll do this with another hand here, with my right hand. Press that in to shift into gear. Press this for park as well. Radio controls, quick radio controls there, and our electric parking brake there. Key fob holder there. Then we have extra storage here with the wireless phone charger as well and a USB-C plug-in right there underneath this armrest. So again, a lot of great stuff that you guys are used to for this model, for the Audi brand, for the Q4. It's just here we are with the Prestige package that adds a lot to it. And again, we'll break that down and the sticker breakdown. I do want to go up top though so you guys can see and we'll get the focus in a little bit better. There we go. So SOS button, we can control 
our sunroof from up there as well so we can close the shade and we can open up the roof and we also have our dome light flood light everything up top and then we also have a mirror here with a light of course <laughs> right and then let's talk about the screen because it's very configurable and just like everything here this is a system that we know and love from audi so i'll let you guys play with this but just to kind of show you around we do have a couple of different views here that we can change up when it comes to all of our settings here and how we want to kind of integrate everything and change all of our modes and make it personal for us so there's so much you can do with this thing it's it's incredible but i did all that just using the buttons here you can even go as far as to go into the settings here and personalize things even more i mean there's tons of stuff here guys we'll talk about that in just a moment let's go check out the back and see what it's all about now let's check out the rear seats because we did say that what our second row leg room was around 35.7 inches while our headroom is 37.4 inches and our shoulder room is 54.5 inches so as you guys can see the same beautiful materials in the rear as up front now i had to seat back pretty far and as you guys can tell i was sitting very comfortably up front but I still have enough wiggle room. And as you guys can see, these indentions, these knee indentions are doing exactly what they need to do. And that's giving me a little bit of room to where my knees aren't exactly touching the backing of the seat. So I do appreciate that. We also have our netting here for extra storage. So that is really nice. Now we do have our LCD screen here that will be illuminated when the car is on for our HVAC controls. We also have our heated seat controls there and our charging only USB 2.0s here with the 12 volt as well. On the door paneling, you get the same oak wood, you get the same brown. Whoop, let's let that let's let that come in there. You get the same oak wood, same materials all throughout on the door paneling, which again I appreciate that. And you have a rear shade to help drown out that sun, make things a little bit cooler. So I do appreciate that as well. They're really taking care of their rear seat passengers. Staying with that, you will see the same perforated leather seating. Very comfortable sitting back here. And you don't only have room to feed whatever you need to in the trunk space here but you can also fold down the seats in the center feed through and the armrest there with extra storage and obviously yes the cup holders are here I always I always mess these up hold on there we go <laughs> I remember it's one of the buttons cup holders here as well these Germany engineering they're just so good at making things so just flowy and just very functional but yes the design here the comfort the space everything you guys need back here is back here and that's why you get a wagon now guys, we're gonna have a little bit of an audio switch up because I wanted to do this sticker here and show it to you fully since we have it online digitally. And keep in mind, in the description of this video, you will be able to click on that link and I will take you directly to this specific car so you guys can check the sticker out for yourself. But feel free to screenshot so you can zoom in, do whatever you need to do to see all these options and features. I'm just gonna go over a few things for you guys so you know exactly what comes with this car. So it's a 2021 Audi A4 All-Road Quattro. And the standard price started at $44,600 even. But after the 1045 destination and the additional options we have here today, we're looking at $57,400. How did we get there? Well, we have the Terra Gray Metallic Paint at $595. Now the brown interior with the granite gray stitching is included. That is free of charge. But the Prestige package at $9,900 gives us our Bang & Austin sound system, auto dimming power folding exterior mirrors with memory, alarm system with motion sensor, Sirius XM, Audi Advanced Key, memory driver's seat, matrix LED headlamps, and the headlamp washers, the top view camera system, parking system plus with park assist, Audi virtual cockpit head up display with traffic sound recognition, LED interior lighting plus package, MMI navigation plus, Audi Connect Prime and plus, six month trial with Audi active lane assist, Audi adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assist, Audi side assist with presets rear, leatherette covered center console and door armrest, dual pane acoustic glass for front and side windows, Audi phone box and rear USB charge ports, ventilated front sport seats with four-way powered lumbar, also manual rear side window shades, heated steering wheel with hands-on detection, and heated rear seats. That is a lot going on for the Prestige package. Now we also have the carrier bars at $445 for the base, rear side airbags $350, Audi beam rings $275, 
Audi Guard Black All Weather Mats, $190, and the great Oakwood Natural Inlays are included. So that is everything that we have optioned out for this model. But all the technical, comfort technology, safety and convenience, and warranty is on the other side, which I will have you guys check out yourselves. But just keep in mind that you do have a four year, 50,000 mile warranty for these models, or a 12 year limited warranty against corrosion and perforation with a four year roadside assistance coverage as well. So guys, what did you think? With the Q4 All-Road 45 Premium being $57,000 standard and that $9,900 prestige package, and then we have it here for $44,000. Well, what do you guys think about the whole car itself, the pricing, and is this a car that you guys wanna get into your driveway? I mean, a wagon? Sign me up. Now with that said, drop those comments down below if you guys want to help further support the channel or the dealership. Check the link in the description below so you guys can get this model in your garage today or give them a call, see what else they got on the lot. And make sure you guys subscribe, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And we will see you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.